If you're using a computer that runs Windows 11 and it's having performance issues, these tips I show you coming up can greatly improve the system performance on your Windows PC. Let's get started. Let's start with the absolute basics first. If your computer has been running continuously for a good period of time, two to three days, Shutting it down completely or restarting will clear the data in memory and will also close background processes and programs, resolving common performance problems. To shut down or restart your computer, click on Start in the taskbar. Then in the lower right, click the power icon. Selecting Shut Down or Restart will ensure that all data is cleared in memory and that all background processes and apps that were running are closed out as well. The programs and apps that start up automatically when you boot your computer can have a negative impact on performance. To free up resources and improve your boot times, we'll be opening the Task Manager. To get to it quickly, right-click on an empty space in the taskbar and select Task Manager. In the left pane, select Startup Apps. Here on the right, you can see everything that's enabled or disabled. Look for the programs that you don't need at startup that are enabled. Select it. And then here at the top, select Disable. In addition to Microsoft Teams, let's disable Spotify and Xbox App Services. Make sure to only disable those that you're absolutely sure that you won't need at startup. If you have programs and apps taking up space and system resources on your computer, uninstalling these can help to increase performance. For this one, we'll be opening the Settings app there's several ways to open it. For example, you could right click the Start menu and select Settings. Or to open it, you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, select Apps, then click Installed Apps. Now go through your entire list of programs and find the software that you want to remove. For each one that you want to get rid of, click the three dot menu on the right and select Uninstall. Click Uninstall again and wait for it to finish. Removing those needless files, taking up space on your drive, could also give you a speed boost, especially if your drive is up to 70% or more of capacity available. To remove temporary files, we'll stay here in the Settings app, select System on the left, and then here on the right, click on Storage. Select Temporary Files, check the box next to all of those that you want to get rid of. For me personally, I don't want to get rid of the files in the downloads folder, so I'll leave that one unchecked and I'll check the recycle bin here. Then go back to the top and click on Remove Files. In the pop-up that appears, click on Continue. And that's all there is to it. Updating Windows, which could include bug fixes, is a good place to start if your PC is running slow. To check for updates, in the Settings app, select Windows Update in the left pane. If there's an update available, select Download and Install. If not, click Check for Updates. And there might be an update available that could fix your problems. Another issue many people run into is bad drivers on their computer that could make it run slow. To check if updated drivers are available, select Advanced Options, then click Optional Updates. Select Driver Updates to see what's available. Check the boxes for the drivers that you want updated. Then when you're done with that, click on Download and Install. You may have heard or experienced problems when updating Windows that it can cause performance issues. I hate to say it, sometimes Microsoft releases bad updates. So on the flip side of updating Windows, sometimes rolling back an update can help to speed up performance. To do this, in the Settings app, in System, scroll down to Recovery, and select it. If it's been within 10 days since the last update, you'll have the option to go back. So you would just click on Go Back and follow the instructions, after which it'll revert back to the previous version before the bad update. To help boost performance, maybe you just need a power plan that is higher performance than what you're currently using. So in the taskbar, go to Search, and type Power Plan. Select Choose a Power Plan. To see all plans available for your PC, click Show Additional Plans. If you're currently using Balanced or Power Saver, or something similar, 
It all depends on the computer. Switch your plan to high performance or anything else similar. After selecting your power plan, select change plan settings for that plan. Then click change advanced power settings and a new window will pop up. Scroll down and double click processor power management. Double click separately, minimum processor state and maximum processor state and make sure the setting for both is 100%. So let's double check that. That one's at 100 for the minimum and for maximum, that one's also at 100. If not, click the percentage and type 100. If you own a computer with more than one graphics card, you can set a specific card for any program that you've been experiencing slowdown issues with. In settings, in the system tab, click on display, scroll down, under related settings, select graphics. You do have the option to browse your computer for the app, or it could be already listed below. I'll select this one here and click on options. Letting Windows decide defaults to power saving. I'm going to set this one to high performance. And when done with that, click on save. You'll see here that it's not recommended. I usually ignore that. And I find setting it to high performance for like video editing software and other programs that use a lot of resources that it does improve things. If you do this for all the programs that are running slow for you, you should see a noticeable improvement. On older computers, or those with low system specs. Having visual features like shadows, animations, and other effects enabled can use up system resources. To disable these in settings, select accessibility here on the left. Then click on visual effects. Turn off both transparency effects and animation effects. Another added benefit of doing this, if on a laptop, having these turned off can also improve battery life as well. If your computer is running slower than usual or misbehaving, that could be a sign that you have a virus or other malware on your system. So this might be a good time to run a full system scan for viruses and malware. For this one, go to the search bar and type Windows Security. Select it. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. To make sure the definitions are up to date, Scroll down to where it says Virus and Threat Protection Updates. It'll show you when it was last updated. It's a good idea to keep this updated even if it was recent. Select Protection Updates, then check for updates. And when it's done, it'll say Update Successful. Let's go back. Under Current Threats, click on Scan Options. Instead of doing a quick scan, select Full Scan. I won't do this now, but when you're ready, click Scan Now. This could take a while to complete. When running, it should detect and get rid of any malware on your system that could be impacting performance. A common problem for many people when playing games on their PC is stuttering, sluggishness, low frame rates, and other issues, especially with AAA titles on a low-spec computer. To improve the performance when gaming, you'll want to turn on Game Mode. So here in Settings, select Gaming on the left. Click Game Mode and turn it on. When turned on, this will turn off non-essential processes in Windows, freeing up more resources for your games. If your computer is still encountering performance issues after trying the other tips I shared with you, then you might want to consider doing a factory reset to make it like new without losing the personal files that you have on your computer. I would call this tip a last resort option. To do the factory reset in settings, select the system tab and over here on the right, select Recovery. Click Reset PC. You'll have the choice to keep your files or remove everything. If you're like most people, you'll want to keep your files. From here on out, follow the instructions, and when completed, hopefully the performance is close to being back to what it used to be. Thanks for watching. Hopefully these tips helped to improve your computer's performance. If they did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. If you're new to our channel and haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff.